Hi and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. I wanted to share with you uh, my experiences of a photo shoot I did recently, which was a bit unusual, to say the least. And that was of uh, 10 Golden Retriever puppies. Uh, they're about uh, six, six weeks old, I think. And uh, the, the, they wanted a portrait of each, photo, of each puppy, just so that they could identify each one. Uh, which I did, um, and then just sort of random photos of the puppies running around. Now, as you can imagine, uh, that wasn't easy. What made it more difficult was it was in a kitchen, a big kitchen, but uh, very low light. The only lights were these little um, like LED things in the ceiling, which uh, I actually had it off. Uh, there was a bit of natural light coming in from one side. So I just wanted to go through what I did to make this work and also the kit that I used. Now, I used the, uh, the the Lumix GX1 that I'm recording on now just to do a bit of video with the LED lights, which I'm already also using now, and that was fine. Now, um, obviously I had a low light issue, so I took uh, my 50mm 1.8 lens and took a few um, photos um, with the 518. I've also got the 70 to 200 2.8 because I was sort of ready for not being able to get too close to the puppies because you disturb them and as soon as you get near them they're chewing your feet and your trousers and stuff. And um, I took the SB700 flash uh, which I ended up using a hell of a lot. Reason for that was it was it was quite easy, it was nice to use with the 70 to 200. The um, I used it on camera as it is there with the uh, diffuser on and bounced it off the ceiling because I had a, a very plain white ceiling, same height all the way through, so that was nice and useful. Just a quick tip, obviously, when you're when you're photographing and you're bouncing off the ceiling, when you go to do hold the camera that way, just make sure you flip your your flash so you're still bouncing off the ceiling and not off of a, a side wall or a window that you know you haven't set up for and that worked really well um, as a combination the um, photos I got were um, a lot of them had things in the background because it's, it's in just in a kitchen so on some of the photos I did a bit of edit, quite a bit of editing uh, to edit out things that there was just no way I could get the shots without them there I didn't want to pose the puppies I just wanted them to run around fall asleep do their thing and um, hopefully got some good pictures. I have uh, done the video separately of the puppies and you can, if you go to my GRVO TV, um, you'll be able to see that and um, that will show you the majority of pictures I took, um, not including the portrait ones and a bit of the video I took as well and um, you know, let me know what you think. The, um, the other thing I wanted to say was that I did the entire shoot in JPEG um, because that's what the people wanted. I uh, Once I'd finished, I uploaded all the pictures directly onto their Mac so they had the, the JPEG straight out of the camera to do with what they want. Now, normally I would obviously shoot raw, I would process the images and then hand them a disc or whatever, but that's what they wanted, so that's what I gave them. So don't, you know... I've got no problem with doing that and um, you know they've turned out quite well and um, then what I've done is I've I've obviously edited them and offered those the edited ones as well um, and that, that's all good so um, I hope if you um, you should be able to find attached to this or if you go to my GRVO TV page um, you should be able to find the pictures it's called Golden Retriever Puppy Shoot and um, have a look at that see what you think um, but I just thought it might be interesting just to know um, what kit I used and um, and how it went. Anyway, this has been GLVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. See you soon. Bye.